what's up y'all so i'm downtown i found this little spot in front of the miller theater so i'm gonna try to shoot the car uh from right over here i just want to get some low profile shots and the street is actually lower right here so it's actually higher than the parking lot is over there so i'm gonna do it I'm gonna go over there and take the shots from a low perspective and it's gonna have the uh the theater in the background so let's see if we can get the shot real quick we're in the loading zone so with us being in the loading zone it's gonna be i don't know it's illegal i'll say that it is illegal but other than that we're gonna get this shot so all right here we go So that's the perspective I'm trying to get. I think I got a few good shots. Uh, let me know what you think about it in the comments um, or in the description, whatever. Uh, make sure you add me on Instagram at illwillmedia706. Uh, I do a lot of the street photography stuff in the city and I take video while I'm taking the photos. So I think it's some dope uh, landscape down here in Augusta, Georgia. And it doesn't matter where you're at, you're always gonna be able to find dope content. You just gotta go out there and find it, man. So that's what I'm out here doing. Yeah, let's go on to the next spot because I got to return the car today. Um, it's Sunday and uh, I know I have it till Monday, but I don't like having $100,000 cars in my possession. And I don't like running up miles because you're not supposed to. So uh, let's get some more dope content with this car. It's a beautiful car. Uh, 2018 BMW 650i Grand Coupe in that wonderful uh, I forgot the type of blue it is, but it's basically, I'll call it BMW blue, M blue, because it's just an iconic color for BMW and I love it. The uh, only thing I don't kind of like is the interior, but eh, we can work with it, you know what I'm saying? It's good It's good to have a white interior to start with, so when you pull up at the light, somebody sees white interior, it's like, oh my god, you know what I mean? So, uh, like I said, let's keep moving, let's find some more places, and let's get some more content. experience BMW makes a car for all different types of people this car is one of those ones that an executive would drive but also throw around the mountain on the weekends you know when he just wants, wants to hit curves or speed get away from the police get away from the family um, it's not a car that my style it's not, 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 not a it's not a car that i would like to take out on the town at night it, it's a head turner but it's not that type of vehicle it's like one of those vehicles you show up at a business meeting and people know that you mean business so that's what i think i like about this car the most is it's elegant but i would spec it out just a little bit different i think i think i would definitely spec it out a lot different Maybe a black interior. I would probably keep the same blue. The blue is just sexy. I mean, you can't go wrong with blue at all. Uh, but I, I would definitely take a white one, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, there's not a lot of BMWs I wouldn't buy. This one, I will tell you though, I'm six foot three and getting in and out of this vehicle is a hassle. But once you're in, it's very comfortable and it, the, the, like the cockpit just wraps around you. That being said, if you're six foot three and you're driving, then you want short people behind you because there's no leg space back there. It's not like the 850i that I did a, a review on, and if you haven't seen that, you know, check my channel out and go back to that one. But this car definitely needs more leg room. Um, and then once you're in there, when you're driving, it's almost kind of awkward too. I can't really describe it. It's almost like uh, you know the car is too small for you, but it's so nice that you're just gonna drive it anyway it's one of those type of cars like if you really really wanted this car you make it work but 
me i'm a little bit more practical and i want to be comfortable when i'm driving crazy so it would definitely have to be an 850 for me a little bit more leg room i'll take that 650i uh it's probably a little bit more for shorter people and for people just trying to find a reason to have a sports car and have a family and have something to tell the wife to say hey yo i really want to have a sports car but hey can we sell them this four-door sports car that uh has a v8 in it twin turbo actually i would leave that stuff out because that would probably be the reason why you don't get the car but for the most part if your wife loves speed, then this is the car for y'all. I mean, hey, no judgment. Like I was saying, this car is equipped with the executive package and the M Sport package. So uh, the details that come with that are, I mean, crazy. The one thing that I would like to point out is the roof. You get like some like Alcantara suede type of roof. Uh, and also the sunroof is not a full sunroof. It's more like a moonroof. Uh, actually what it is, it is a moonroof. Let me start this thing up. So you get a moonroof, but the moonroof, that's as far as you're getting. You get nice sunlight in when it's a cloudy day. You know, you get that perfect lighting. Uh, so with this package, you get the contrast, uh, uh, stitching on the seats All right as far as the cockpit once you get in uh, you definitely have Right here you Got your heads-up display in the front uh, That's right there in the front window right in front of the driver uh, It tells you your speed the speed limit in the area that you're in it starts blinking when you actually are going too fast going over the limit um, then you have this huge navigation screen. Then we're rocking, we have the huge navigation screen to go with the uh, heads up display. Ah, and of course the steering wheel. I love the steering wheel. The paddle shifters are actually uh, bigger than you would expect. Uh, most BMWs, uh, X5s are kind of they're pretty much that size, but they're a little bit more ergonomic once you go to reach back behind the actually go through and through the gears and stuff like that. They're really huge back there, but very ergonomic, very comfortable in my fingers. Uh, of course, you have the buttons here for your uh, lane departure warning, uh, active cruise control, and uh, definitely to stop you from swerving from left to right on the lane, uh, left to right on the highway. Controls for the cruise controller, uh, um, excuse me, the active, the cruise control buttons are set up here on the console. Uh, of course you have your volume buttons, Bluetooth, uh, the call, the call button here if you have your car linked. And while I'm going through that stuff, so as far as technology goes in the cars, if you have a BMW and you, you do not have the Connected Drive app, you need to get that thing. The Connected Drive app, um, actually, you can basically have a profile set, um, and that profile can transfer from your main car to any other BMW that also has Connected Drive. Uh, capability in it so once you once I get out of my 530e and I get into this car the car is already asking me hey do you want me to link up with this new BMW uh, can I transfer your settings on and also your navigation you my calls list everything so it's not so hard to have to transfer from my main car to a borrowed car or somebody else's BMW and I still feel just at home so I think that's what the connected app really does a good thing uh, about thing is the only bad thing I hate about the connected drive app is the service itself sometimes it can be in and out so if I'm in it in downtown Augusta works just fine for some reason I don't know why but when I go out into the country like yeah it definitely kind of chooses when it wants to work or not but when it does work it is a five-star app and so I do uh, suggest that you get that definitely <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Okay, so there's one thing I did forget to give y'all, and y'all know I like doing it. It's the exhaust test, so let's go ahead and hear that thing spitting one good time, all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For all my, my petrol heads out there, you know I got to do the exhaust test for y'all, because I know a lot of y'all buy cars based on how it sounds, and uh, let me go ahead and hit that one time for you. If we can get them sirens to go away, that'd be amazing, but let me go ahead and get that out for you, all right? One time. Yeah, boy. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So, there's your exhaust test for today for this vlog. I'm going to end it out on that. I'm at, like I said, I'm here at the wonderful Taylor BMW in Augusta, Georgia. Um, we'll pick up my car. I'm just dropping this one off. Lovely vehicle. It's a shame I have to say goodbye to it, but I do. With that being said, always add me on Instagram at IllWillMedia706 and also on YouTube at the same place at IllWillMedia706. I'm doing more of these vlogs. A BMW guy, I do a lot of BMW vlogs, but we we'll start getting into other vehicles as well. But hey, whatever you do, like, share, subscribe, always be blessed, always strive for greatness. And uh, I guess it's my inspirational award for today. So with that being said, I love all of y'all. I'll see you next time on the next vlog.